Welcome to another Mortal Online 2 video. I'm Base Bellagio. Today, I am going to show you around the town of Bacti. Let's get a little torch out so you guys can see. Make sure my criminal uh, actions are off. Perfect. So Bacti is a confusing town for, for new players. It took me three weeks and four days just to find the magic vendor. And even now, I can't find the front gate. <laughs> but once you watch this tutorial, you will be a master of this town. Bacti is actually a very easy town in terms of the geography around the area. It's filled with landmarks from rivers to big mountains that you can see on top, like north of, of Bacti, big mountain. You enter Bacti, the main gate, from the western side of the town. That's where the stables are. This is the stable. The broker would be right here. I'm playing on an alt to make these videos easier to record. I'm going to miss those. This is where you would buy house deeds. Possibly decorations too. In here to the left is your main square of town. You have the rib cage here is a good landmark to get up to an upper area. You have the bank here to your left, a big building. Second biggest building in town is the bar. Down this way. And across from the bar is the broker. These are your main buildings in town. Behind these is your butcher. This was really hard to find at first. Butcher table in here. And then behind the bank is the spiritist vendor. Spiritist trader. Clever criminals and horse murderers hide in here. And bing, 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 bing. Magic, magic, arcane archer. They, they, get, they get crazy. But be careful leaving your horses right here. Specifically, as you can see, it's a hot zone. From the crossroads here, we're going to go to the directly south, staying on this level. Bacti is like a, there's two level town. There's the lower level, this flat, and then just a slightly upper area on that side and this side. But stay down here first. You have your utility vendor right here. One of two in town. You could buy arrows and whatnot. I usually go and sell stuff here. Rapid fire because it's close to the bank. Also the, the uh, cooking vendors right here and main cooking fire. And right next to it is the library with the main magic librarian, combat librarian, curite elite guard, uh, curite trainer librarian, and common librarian. You continue down this avenue, you eventually hit a gate that goes out to the southeast, and I think down to the graveyard, down there. The graveyard's a mystery, we'll, we'll go look at that after. Upper, uh, going back, you know, facing the bank, the row we came on, the main avenue, we go up to this terrace now, to the west. This is where your fishing vendor is, hidden back here for all the fishermen. You have training dummy area, a house that only a few people can get inside. Giants can't get in this house. Only small Alvarin and Hunter Lizard. You have your herbalist. Your uh, table. Where is it? Botany lore guys here. Your press. The extraction press. The elusive. Here it is. Extraction. Herbia globulums right here. And then inside would be alchemy stuff. Extraction for Bricula, Alchemy Table, some uh, logs, and your Extraction Kiln. I've never used the kiln. What's that for? Let me know in the comments below. 
Going back now, northeast, we're back down at the crossroads, I call it, the bank. This time we're going to go up through the ribcage. Ribcage is your main guide stone besides the bank. Up here is the bonfire. People hang around this and tell stories and dance and also fight. And here is your priest where you can get resurrected, where the spine of the dragon is. Look at this guy. Someone, someone's causing a ruckus at the bank. In here now, directly to the right of the funeral home, right there, the priest, is your equipment vendor, only one in town, and the second utility vendor. This is where you get bags, you know, all that stuff. In here. Okay. And then, again, facing the resurrection hut, to the left is the crafting house, I call it. This is where all the crafting is done in Bacti. Shields, pet equipment, weapons, extraction kiln, another one, just to haunt me. Uh, armor crafting table, my favorite. Furnaces, bows, all the jazz is in here. Again, there's gates all around Bacti. Multiple ways in and out. It's definitely an easy city. You can slip out of an escape. You have a big group of enemy guild out front. You can slip out the back. Now this is important. That was the magic vendor, but you have to realize how hidden this thing is. If you're a mage and you're new to Bacti, this is like the bane of your existence. At the eastern gate of town, okay, is where the magic vendor is down here, hidden. It is, okay, going back the way we came. In here is armor and weapon uh, vendors. You'll never use them. But basically, it's behind the... Here's the priest hut and your equipment and utility hut. But it's behind, southeast, behind them, towards the eastern gate. You will see... There's the eastern gate down here. Magic vendor. So hidden. There's only one grocery vendor in town. It's at the bar next to the task vendor okay here's the bank bar is a grocer there that's pretty much everything there is around town let me show you what the, the sacred icons are the crusher the grinder and the grizzly behind the stables over here is the extraction grizzly collecting dust because only the elite masters know how to use this thing no one else knows how to use it or what it's for we have the crusher and the extraction grinder and yeah pretty simple let me show you where the graveyard is let's get a horse Now, let's take a look at the map real quick. I want to show you, before we show you the graveyard, am I able to pull up the map? And I will remember to remove this window. But as you can see, Bacti is located on a river, basically, off of Sausage Lake. I don't know if you can see my cursor on here. You can now. This is Maduli, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you're driving out. The plains right here. You see the, the Western Step Castle, okay, Integrity's Castle as a landmark. You keep going east to Sausage Lake. This is your main landmark for the area. Bacti is the crossroads of the entire map, basically. From Bacti, you can get to pretty much anywhere. But you would take the Southern River all the way down, okay? If you were hugging the river, there's a bridge here as, as, a, as a landmark. Or you can hug the mountains. Just stay south, and then it'll be an opening, and you get the Bacti. Bacti is kind of hard to miss. You can get lost in these mountains up here. If you get high enough, you get, like, I mean, it could be metaphorically high enough, or physically too high in the mountains, you will get lost. From Bacti, if you go southwest around this mountain and hill, you hit the river again, you just follow that south, to the new Salino Cave if you want to go with your friends. You need friends to fight the things there, definitely. But you can literally take this river 
use it as a land marker, which everyone does, and you can get into the jungle going east to jungle camp. You can, from this cave southwest, you go past Artisan Keep, Canterry Castle, and there's the entire southwestern highway, I call it. If you watch my streams over at twitch.tv, very easy jungle route to learn. It's just a southwestern slope that just goes all the way down to the shore. Okay? Those of you that are familiar with Meduli, your southern jungle down here, it's connected. All this is connected. Another thing is Bakti sits right here at the opening to get to Morin Kerr, or Mo Ki. People do a lot of runs through there. And then also directly east by the uh, Events Castle, Events Management Castle, I guess. I thought this was Warden's Castle. I forgot. That was in the beta. Spider Cave out here. And various ways down to the jungle in Echinda, it's called. Uh, I've never been down these paths yet, but we're going to learn them. And this is the illustrious, beautiful zone, I call it. All the nice stuff's over here. From crabs to shore prowler. A lot of peace and quiet, too. Not many people go. I'm sure it'll be crazy when we're back on one server. But yeah, Bakti is an interesting town. I'm going to show you one thing right now before the video ends. But this is a real easy spawn here. Mongrel horse spawn. This is your spawn. This is Bakti. All you got to do is go southeast, guys. And you can't miss it. It's by Razorbacks, by Yellow Seppa, and by Trolls. If you go too far, you die. Pretty much. All this is a massive cliff. You can't make it to the jungle this way. But there are horses. And it's literally just over the mountain. Let's see if we can make it. Image off. Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Okay. The bad thing is it's nighttime, so you might not be able to see as good. Let's take Bach. Does he have any, uh, we don't have any armor. Okay, we'll be fast and nimble. But yeah, southeast, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go right past the graveyard, basically. Graveyard in, in Bakhti is a little odd. It's down in like a gully, I call it. You can see it down there. It's not something, that's something. You'll find it, guys. You'll find the graveyard. You don't need the tutorial for that. The horses are more important. We're taking a naked horse and we're going. So look, here's the key. I'm going a little bit more south than I want to, but you want to get up and over this mountain. Once you get up and over this mountain, it's quite simple to get to the horses. I'm going to show you the exact hill. Let's just get a fulmination queued up. I don't know why, if it's because it's a mongrel horse spawn, but people tend to be polite over here somewhat. But don't break the Bacti mongrel horse code. Be kind to one another when farming mongrel horses. So again, keep on a southwest pace. When you see down here to your left, it's like a little valley down here. Start going more east a little bit. Now stop right here before going in these woods. You have a hump here, a hill and you're on the hill you came from. You want to get to the next hill. I wish it was daytime. You could see it better. But check this out. Start going east, northeast, just down to this valley. But that next hill you see, that's the edge of it. Let's get our stamina back. This hill here is where the mongrel horses spawn. It's more southeast. Take a look, ready? Someone might be here. Now I'm going southeast again. This is a hill, if you guys can see it. The trees are behind it. It's like a naked hill before... After this first line of trees, after those hills, it's empty. This hill is where the mongrels spawn. I want to get my full stamina back, make sure no one's here. 
Arcane Archers out there, your most powerful combo. Fulmination bow combo. High DPS. It's pretty much an instant horse killer, even a max level horse. Here are the mongrel horses. Do you see? Do you see? These are mongrel horses. Do you see? This is them, guys. Perfect spot. But you saw what we did. We came down over the hill. It's pretty much the second hump, I call it. The second hill. I don't have any horse bags or we would bring some leather home. I need some leather to finish up my armor crafting. And look, directly northwest, you're back, back at Bacti. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know around Bacti. There are two dire wolf spawns. A couple more than that, but the main one's north of Bacti, high in the mountains. And then the other one's southwest of Bacti. If you go southwest of Bacti towards the jungle, like Camp River, I call it, Salino Cave, uh, you might hit the dire wolves. If you're on foot, that could be an issue. There's Razorbacks around Bacti, Springbok. Um, if you're brand new to Bacti, a real lucrative thing you could do to make money, flower farming. Look at all these flowers. The blue ones will be your biggest gold. You know, like every time you stop and get the blue flowers, it's basically 25 silver in your pocket. There's like... I don't know where we're going, guys. Where are we going? We gotta get up and over this mouth. Um, there's like 10 blue flower spawns all around Bacti. Like, within guard range. Like, if you were naked running outside of Bacti in the woods right ar immediately around it. Um, take advantage of that as a new player. Flower harvesting and selling to vendors. Huge. Huge. Not a lot of people do it. It's pretty much guaranteed money for early players. Um, bandits from Bacti to Moki. Mo there are just random. Uh oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Let's shoot the horse with fulmination. Random bandit areas. Just all around on the road. You'll see big groups of bandits. You can fight them with your friends. They're definitely a farm, though. People farm them. And when we're back on one server, we will see the new dynamic, you know? We're heading back to uh, back to now. Here's the graveyard. It's pretty much east of the city. And that's about it. Here's back to, it's a little dark, but you can identify it with the wooden stockade around the whole city, the spikes, the spike wall. And that is about it. Guys, Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you like these kind of videos, little map tutorials, area tutorials. Let me know if you want more of these. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Hit that subscribe button. We're up to 1,300 subscriptions for YouTube. Thank you guys so much for following the channel, for catching us over on Twitch Live when we're live. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have a great rest of your day.